All right, so this is part two on uh, a discussion of the parabola. So from the previous video, part one, we talked about uh, the parabola with the vertex at the origin. And we had these equations. Remember, you had a vertical axis of symmetry, so those are the ones that opened up or down. And they had the, uh, the form y equals x squared, right? And horizontal axis, the ones that opened right or left, they had the form x equals y squared. And, uh, so the vertex was, but the vertex was at the origin. So now we're going to move the vertex. So remember from previous knowledge that if we wrote this thing as y equals 1 over 4c, and we had, say, like x minus h squared plus k. Remember what that minus h and plus k thing, remember what that did to your graph, right? Well, remember this, the x minus h thing, that moved your graph right or left, depending on if h was positive or negative and your k value moved your graphs up or down depending on whether k was positive or negative. Right? Remember that? That's the concept that we that leads us into uh, the standard form of a parabola with a um, with a vertex h comma k. And that looks like this. So we've got the standard equation for a parabola with vertex h k. So when we had those two forms we could write we could write it in. I like to isolate y and have y equals x squared. Um, or x equals y squared if we're doing the horizontal axis. So either form doesn't really matter. Uh, the, uh, uh, but for the vertical axis, where you have the x is squared and the y is not squared, uh, your parabola opens up if your c value is positive, greater than zero, and your parabola opens down if your c value is less than zero. The vertex is h comma k. Uh, remember that the h goes with the x and the k goes with the y value. Um, once you know the vertex, you automatically know the axis of symmetry. Since this is a parabola that opens opens up uh, or down, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line. And so it's always x equals the x part of the vertex. right? And it's got to be that entire equation. x equals the x part of the vertex. Then, uh, to figure out the focus, okay, well, remember that your parabola, say like it opens up, for example, and so this here is the vertex hk, and your focus would be inside the parabola, right? That's f, right there. That distance is c, and the focus is a point, right? So what's changing from the vertex point to the focus point? Well, the, the y value is changing, right? The x value stays the same. So the focus is the x part of the vertex, h, right? And then we take the y part of the vertex and just add the c value to it. That's how you get up to the focus. Right? And then the directrix, remember the directrix would be a horizontal line back here. Uh, we have y equals, we take the y part of the vertex minus the c value. And that put you down here. All right? So once you know the c value and you know the vertex, you, and you know which way your parabola opens, you can figure out the focus and the directrix pretty fast. A similar idea with the horizontal axes. So here you have y squared and x is not squared. So the parabola opens right if your c value is greater than zero, and the parabola opens left if your c value is less than zero. The vertex is again hk, but make note where h and k are located, right? Remember, k goes with the y, h goes with the x. So it's kind of backwards from what it looks like over here, so just be careful. Again, once you know the vertex, you automatically know the axis of symmetry. Since this is a parabola that opens on its side, that opens right or left, the axis of symmetry is a horizontal line, and so it's y equals the y part of the vertex. Then for the focus, all right, so here's the vertex, hk, and here's your focus. So this time what changes to get from one point to the next? Right, the x value is what's changing. All right, so to figure out the focus, you take the x part of the vertex and add the c value to it and then comma, whatever the y part of the uh, vertex is, and that would be your focus point. And then the directrix would be, in this case it would be a vertical line, right? For parabolas that open right or left, the directrix is a vertical line. Right, so that would be x equals the x part of your vertex h, this time minus c, to put you back in the other direction. Right, so as soon as you know the c value, the vertex, and which way you open, you can figure out everything else um, pretty fast. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's look at a couple of examples. All right, so here's the first example. All right, so which way does it open? All right, anybody guess? All right, you have x equals y squared, so it's got to open right or left. And since out in front here is positive, your c value is going to be positive, it's going to open right. What's the vertex? When we're in this nice form, we can read the vertex off immediately. 
right? And it would be, what's the h value? The h value is over here, goes with the x, that's 1. And the y va or the um, k value uh, goes with the y there, so it's 2. So the vertex is 1, comma, 2, which means we automatically know the axis of symmetry. We know it opens right. The vertex is 1, 2, so the axis of symmetry has to be y equals 2. Okay, so now let's go off to the side here and find c. All right, so 1 8 has to equal 1 over 4c. Remember, 1 over 4c is the coefficient of your y minus of your y minus k squared in your standard formula. So that 1 over 4c has to equal the coefficient here, which is 1 8. That implies that c has to be 2. All right, so the focus would be what? All right, so we're opening on the we're opening to the right. You might just need to picture that, right? You might just need to go, all right, so it opens to the right, here's the vertex, and here's the focus. All right, just kind of picture that in your mind, and that'll help you figure out the, the what the focus is. All right, so what's changing? Well, the x value of the vertex is changing. So we have the x value of the vertex plus the c value, comma, the y value of the vertex, which is 3, comma, 2. So the focus is at 3 comma 2. The directrix, since it's a parabola that opens to the right, the directrix is a vertical line, so it's x equals the x part of the vertex minus the c value, so x equals negative 1 would be the directrix. Alright, what about the domain? Alright, well, uh, it opens to the right, uh, we know the vertex is um, 1 comma 2, so the domain goes with all the x values. So what x values are being used here to generate our graph? Well, from 1 on, right? So 1 to infinity would be the domain. And the range, well, range goes with the y values. What y values are being used to generate uh, this particular graph? Well. It goes forever up and it goes forever down because it opens to the right. So every y value is being used. Negative infinity to infinity. Already see that? Okay. And if you want to sketch a graph real quick, all right, so you plot the vertex, which is 1, comma 2. We know it's going to open right, so it's going to hit the x-axis. So we could actually find the x-intercept, right? How do you find how do you find x-intercepts? Right? You let y be 0. x equals 1 8 times negative 2 squared plus 1. And when you do that, x turns out to be 3 halves. Okay? So the x-intercept is 3 halves comma 0. So that's 1 and a half comma 0. So it would be right there. So by the axis of symmetry, since this point right here is on our graph, then there has to be one on the <coughs> exactly on the other side of, uh, of this axis of symmetry at the same spot. So that would be, say, right, right? And then you can kind of connect your dots and make your parabola. Want to see that? And your focus would be 3, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 2. So your focus is here somewhere. And your directrix would be negative, x equals negative 1, which is back here. Okay? All right, so see the next video for um, for the next example, all right?